Welcome back to Global Posts. Today, we dive into a pressing issue, India's labor force compared to China's. India, with the world's largest population, still lags behind China in terms of its labor force. Let's delve into the statistics and explore the implications. India may have the world's largest population, standing at a staggering 1.4 billion people, but here's the kicker, its labor force participation rate is only 51%. That's right, just 51%. In comparison, China's labor force participation rate stands at a robust 76%. According to Oxford Economics, it's projected that India won't catch up to China's labor force size until the late 2040s, unless there's a significant increase. Now, let's talk about gender equality in the workforce. In China, women constitute 71% of the labor force, a substantial number. However, in India, it's a stark contrast, with only 25% of the workforce being women. Shockingly, this is even lower than some poorer economies like Pakistan and Bangladesh. In countries like Indonesia, Malaysia, Laos, Thailand, and Vietnam, over 50% of women are actively working. But the challenges don't end there. India's workforce also faces issues with productivity. Oxford Economics points out that the country's education and healthcare standards are lagging. India's human capital levels, which define workforce productivity, currently rank behind not only China but also many regional peers. For instance, in 2018, India's literacy rate was 74%, while China surpassed it by a significant margin at 97%. What's more concerning is the quality of education. During the pandemic, learning disruptions in rural India delayed reading and calculation proficiency among students. On the health front, India's life expectancy at birth is 70.9 years, whereas it's a healthier 77.7 years in China. The number of doctors per 10,000 people in India is only 7.3, compared to a more robust 23.9 in China. So, what do these statistics mean for India? To catch up with China's labor force, India needs to boost its labor force participation rate to over 70% by 2030. Achieving this will require substantial efforts in education and healthcare. India must focus on improving its education quality and increasing healthcare access. Raising funds is paramount in this endeavor. Currently, India spends a mere 2.9% of its GDP on education, falling short of the government's target of 6%. Similarly, healthcare expenditure, although increased to 2.1% of GDP this year, remains lower than in many other countries. In conclusion, while India's population is massive, its labor force faces significant challenges compared to China. To bridge this gap, India must invest in education and healthcare, boost labor force participation, and raise funds to improve the quality of life and productivity of its workforce. Stay tuned to Global Posts for more engaging news on vital global issues. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe for the latest updates.